What's up, everybody? I am back with another review today. And uh, look at that. I'm wearing gloves for all you fucking trolls out there that uh, want to talk shit about, oh, he touched his armrest with his hands. And then he continued to tattoo. Let's, uh, before we get to this review, I just want to talk a little bit about something. Um, when I'm working, I use a product called BioSurf. It is a hand, or wherever you put it, it seals off the skin so that uh, it prevents, if you get, let's say, blood on your hands or something accidentally and uh, you're scared, you know, it's a good uh, solution for people that uh, continuously have an issue with touching stuff, whatever. Anyway, I'll get into a video about uh, tattoo safety and stuff a little later. Of course, you always need to be aware of your hot zones and your cold zones. Obviously, you shouldn't be touching your armrest with your bare hands, whatever, whatnot, and stuff like that. So, it is what it is. Anyway. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, I'll make a complete video about that. Uh, and that'll be coming up. Um, anyway. I don't know how many times I'm going to say anyway. <laughs> This video is, uh, this review, this video is about the Zoom. This is a machine from Mustang Tattoo, and it is called the Zoom Pen. Now, it comes in this dope-ass case right here, which I really enjoy because you can easily just put it in here and take it wherever with you on the road, throw it in your backpack, and it just seems logical that uh, you would put, you know, your machine in something like this. It's pretty cool. It comes like this. It doesn't really come in any other type of packaging. So I like it. Um, when you open the case, the machine will be in like a plastic wrap, bubble wrap. And then you get instructions. There's an entire manual now, and the manual does come in English, since uh, Mustang Tattoo is now selling to the American and the European market, and you could literally buy Mustang Tattoo equipment from Painful Pleasures now, even though I don't like Painful Pleasures, but, you know, they do sell high-quality machines. So, I'm going to read to you this... Uh, instruction manual before I get more into this machine and I've thoroughly tested this machine I've been using it for some time now I've tattooed with it continuously and I really enjoy working with it so what does it say first and foremost it says congratulations on your purchase of the MT Mustang tattoo equipment Zoom is a fast lightweight reliable rotary machine compatible with a wide range of cartridges Ability to work with disposable holders, Cheyenne D-Grips. Yes, the grip on this machine, you can remove it, as I am doing, and you can use Cheyenne disposable grips on this machine. You could even use uh, the Cheyenne aluminum grips on this machine. Now, as far as this machine being a full one inch, I mean, I'm pretty sure a regular standard Cheyenne grip will fit on this. I don't have any right now, unfortunately. So, um, I really can't uh, test that. I have not tested this machine with Cheyenne D grips yet. But it does fit all the D grips, the one inch, the Ergo round, and the, the Ergo long, the fat one, which I like. So what else does it say? Uh, constantly improving the experience of developers. 
and dialogue with the masters allows to achieve the perfect balance of accuracy, ergonomics, and high quality. The machine is completely ready for work for proper operation with the machine. Carefully read the instructions. The package includes a tattoo machine, warranty card, instructions, and a storing cover. The universal zoom mach tattoo machine is intended for drawing a contour, a shade, shadows. So it then shows you the connections of stuff. If you guys can see that. So you'll have where the RCA connector goes, the motor unit housing, the motor unit itself, the cartridge holder, and the cartridge slot. So this is a six watt motor inside of this machine. It takes an RCA, obviously. It's a hidden RCA, um, which I like. That's also great. It is, it has an optimum supply of voltage. Uh, you, you can operate it from six to nine volts. The maximum voltage for the machine is 10 volts. It has a needle stroke of 3.5 millimeters. It's 135 grams in weight. Blah, 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 blah. And then they talk about some security measures and stuff like that. And then the warranty for the actual machine, the, the aluminum, the frame, and this and that, they give you a five-year warranty. And the motor has a one-year warranty. And they require you to register the machine through the warranty card when you do purchase the machine. Um, the warranty excludes problems after aggressive non-alcohol antiseptic agents, machines with signs of failing, hitting the case and its components, machines with rust or processing, machines with signs of self-adjustment or modernization to it, foreign things, liquids or dirt get inside the mechanism, and the warranty is also terminated in case of misuse of the equipment exceeding the maximum operating voltage or sterilizing the entire machine in an autoclave or a dry oven so this body obviously besides the grip the grip you can sterilize in an autoclave you can put it in an ultrasonic cleaner you can pretty much use metacide wabicide savicide you can use Citrus 2, which is what I use. You can use any type of disinfectant that works within the environment that you're working in. And those will definitely disinfect the grip. But of course you should cover the machine properly when working as well. So this machine is, uh, as far as the body goes, it's uh, kind of similar to the Vader that I reviewed. And one thing that I enjoyed about working with the Vader is that it had a, it had these ridges here that you can very easily adjust when working with it. So that was great. We're still recording here? Yes, we are. All right, cool. I was just checking. <laughs> I didn't see... Uh, My connection here kind of went out on my Apple Watch. Sorry, guys. So yeah, it has these these uh, ridges here, and you can easily adjust when your machine is wrapped. Whatever wrapping you use, you just have this here, and you can adjust your cartridge needle depth, and that's pretty dope. So let's run this machine, and I can show you guys how it runs. Um, we'll test it with a variety of different cartridges so this is at six volts pretty much home is pretty nice it's a lot less uh, noisy when you do actually stick the cartridge in there these are these uh, newer t-tech cartridges I've been working with and testing so let's uh, let's do that I think we're at six volts right now if you guys can see that and uh, literally it will start at 5.5 .5. and it 
it's got enough power to, to push a 27 mag at five and a half volts. I'm just going off my glove here. This is a nitro glove. It's uh, pretty much uh, seven millimeters in five or seven millimeters in thickness. And uh, at five and a half volts, you get some nice soft black and grays with this machine. And it works real nice. It can work really soft, but you can throw it up to eight volts and you can start smashing some color with this thing. Yeah. Very strong machine, it runs very smooth, it lines very nice. There's a liner. It runs great with all different types of needle cartridges. Here's even a peak needles cartridge cartridge that uh, I don't even use anymore. I just have it around for testing purposes. It pushes large liners with ease. Else do I, have here? I think I had some craft cartridges. I have some WJX cartridges over here. All all cartridges that I've tried in here all fit fine. There's no issues. They all work great. And I'm really enjoying working with this machine. It's been uh, it's been pretty awesome tattooing with it. I really like it. It's very ergonomic. It's a lot shorter than the Vader. Not as short as, uh, let's say, you know, like a CNC short pen or something, but uh, it's it's pretty short. Let's compare sizes here. And the short pen is pretty much almost the same size as the Solnova. So it's about that much right there, if you guys can see. yeah but this machine is badass so for all of you out there uh looking for a machine that is pretty much a straightforward machine it's a standard uh, 3.5 millimeter stroke it does not have any of those push rods that the vader had it's just regular i guess push rod in there one thing that i do want to mention though is that the push rod inside of this machine i don't know if you guys can see it it's built into the machine it's actually a sealed push rod which is very interesting the fact that it's sealed means that it's more difficult for liquid to get inside of there uh, so if you guys do buy the machine and you'll look in there, you'll be able to see that the push rod itself, it's not like a Cheyenne push rod or anything else from any other company out there. Maybe it's kind of similar to the Axis Valhalla, but there is no way to really remove the rod itself as it does not come out. I have not been able to remove it or anything like that, so I'm not... 100% sure if it's removable or not. I'm pretty sure it's not removable. But it is sealed and it does help with prevention of cross contaminants coming inside of the machine. But of course, you should be working with any pen style machine with cartridges that have membranes. That's very, very important. Now, if you guys are going to be interested in purchasing this, uh, I'll have information to where you can buy this machine. I'll give you guys a link to uh, Mustang Tattoo's website and also Painful Pleasures website. So for those of you out there that still shop through Painful Pleasures, sure, you can go ahead and purchase the machine through there. They also carry uh, this machine, which I'll be reviewing soon. This is the Element 2 machine, and I am using this machine with standard tubes and needles although it does have the ability to work with cartridges with a push rod that uh, works great with cartridges works great with standard tubes and needles but we'll get into this machine after i do some more testing with it and yeah if you guys enjoyed this review of the zune 
please give me a thumbs up please subscribe and thank you for watching thanks guys